So uh, we've got most of the Hummer plumbed and um, ready to go. The AC system is complete. We can uh, we could actually connect our uh, our commander and uh, and start pulling it down now if we wanted to. Um, most of the cooling system is together. We are missing a lower radiator hose, and we're still missing our two power steering lines. Those haven't shown up yet. Uh, a couple of things that we did do for our cooling system, I'd like to show you guys. Uh, one of them is uh, the radiator, for some reason, did, even though it said it was for a 5.3 liter Hummer H3, the radiator did not come with a, uh, a steam port. So we, we got a little adapter, and we put our own little steam port. I've seen a lot of these uh, conversions and kits come in with a steam port that is just block. They just put a little block here and then that's it. If you do this, it is very likely you will have air, you will trap air inside your heads and you might create heat spots and blow out your head gaskets and make the motor fail. So it's really important that the steam vent is always connected back at least to the upper hose if you don't have a direct inlet for it right off of the uh, radiator. And. Um, our two heater hoses we decided to make just out of a regular hose. I am uh, I am really against plastic in the cooling system. You know, it, it, it might be a quick connector. It might look nice today when it goes on, but in, in, in two or five years time, you're not expecting it and the plastic gets brittle and it just breaks. And uh, so I'm, I'm totally against that. Um, otherwise, we're getting really close to being able to wire our ECU, our wire our, uh, our engine up. Um, the motor was a very tight fit. I don't know if you guys can see down here. There is uh, like no room between the uh, the front of the uh, water pump, which which has the thread the thread snout for uh, a mechanical fan. Um, I wonder if there was a water pump option we could have got that didn't have this. But this is a very tight fit. It fits. It doesn't touch, but man, it's tight. We're okay with it because it's not on regular mounts. It's on our. Uh, these little conversion mounts that aren't going to let the motor move at all so it's, it's okay but that is a very tight fit anyway um, and that's it we're we got two ECUs mounting and um, we're getting ready to uh, to start the electrical and the wiring one of the last steps that we have to do before we can do the electrical is we have to get on top of our exhaust for the exhaust what we've done is we've left the five cylinder exhaust in place we've just chopped it right in front of the cross member uh, after the downpipe for the five cylinder and we have sourced a starting point. This is a Y pipe for a different V8 engine for a different application and we're going to see what we got to do to uh, make this work in this Hummer. We uh, One thing that we do have starting point with the uh, manifolds that came from the Tahoe is we also got our flanges. So technically I think we have everything we need in place. We just got to uh, cut and chop and re-weld and uh, make this Y pipe a lot more specific to what we actually have. And uh, I guess I'll report back on that after the exhaust is in and I'll show you all how it went. For now, it's uh, time to get back to work, digging our way to uh, getting to wire this up. Second shift performance.